Hey everybody, Jerome Maldonado. I'm sitting here reading about uh, Larry Silverstein. If you guys don't know who Larry Silverstein is, he is the developer that uh, redeveloped um, the National Disaster Site of Site 1 in 9-11 where the World Trade Centers um, sat in, uh, in 2001. And, you know, I remember that day like vividly, you know, I think the whole world does because of what was happening. We were all under attack by um, Al Qaeda at that, 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 that time. And, um, and, you know, it's funny is six weeks before 9 11 hit, um, Larry had signed um, a 99 year land lease um, for the site of the World Trade Centers, which gave him the ability to, to lease, to sell, to um, facilitate business. Um, and also gave him the right to rebuild the site um, if something happened to it. And so six weeks later, um, the site was in ruin. And so imagine, imagine the feeling of this gentleman who at the time was 70 years old. And I, I was reading the article and it was funny because, you know, I, I, my wife for many years, um, you know, we've had a great life and we've spent and we've traveled and we've done. Um, limitations as far as money have not been in our vocabulary um, for over 25 years. It's been a, it's been a great run. And, but you know what's funny is when you work this game, you sacrifice things in life, you know? Some of the sacrifices is time, obviously, you know? And, and at the age of 70, when Larry was 70 years old, um, he, he told his wife, he goes, look, he goes, honey, we got the golden ring. Everything that we've put off and we've sacrificed all these years, we can now go do. This was six weeks before 9-11 happened. And he said, it didn't quite work out that way. You know, um, the life as it has it um, had a different plan for me. And so now at the young age of 90, he's still working on the project and it's still not fully complete. And I'll get into that here in a second. Um, it's kind of funny. But, you know, the relation to that was the 2008 financial um, recession. Uh, we had made millions of dollars. At that time, I was probably worth someplace in the neighborhood of about 10 to $12 million, um, depending on how you assessed our properties and stuff at the time. So we had done well. And we decided to have kids in 2008, I mean in 2007, my son was born in January of 2008, and, um, and then the recession hit. Um, and I told my wife at that time, I said, we're ready, we're ready to have kids. I can pull my foot off the pedal, I can get people to run the business, and even if it runs less efficient, we can just work, work it like a job, and we can raise the kids. I have freedom and flexibility, capital, and, um, and we're good, we're in a good place. Well, the financial crisis hit, I had millions of dollars in, um, in uh, debt, on projects that I had, and, um, and things shifted by November of 2008. And I went back to work as hard and as diligently as I did back in the 90s when I first opened up. God had a different plan for us. Whatever that plan um, was, was I believe to show my kids um, how we got there and, um, and to be able to go out and, and do what we've done on behalf of being able to raise our kids to go out and do something incredible, which we're still in the process of now. Um, and so life, takes its turns, right? You guys have all experienced it. We have experienced it. And Larry has truly experienced it, right? And so I, I can't help but remember 9-11, and this video is really um, just a, a tribute to um, September 11th of 2021, all the people, the families, um, the, the uh, first responders, the sedentary individuals, all the outreach of everybody who was a part of it, gave back to it, and everybody who was affected by it, which is our entire country, and, there, and, and then some. And um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I sit here and I always look at things from a different perspective, being involved in, in, in the business that I'm involved in, which is real estate, real estate development, and um, real estate investing. And I look at somebody like Larry, and I couldn't even imagine what he was thinking um, on September 11th when this happened. And so his whole world gets flipped, right? Well, he gets into a legal battle with the insurance companies, is going in for seven, uh, $7 billion in settle, seven plus billion dollars in settlements, and lands up with about a $4.3 billion settlement to go out and take on a $20 billion project, um, because that's what they've spent thus far um, on rebuilding Site 1 and the World Trade Centers. And so at the age of 90, if you guys Google him, you go to Wikipedia, he's standing there proudly at the, at the fine age of 90 years old and, um, and in, trade, in World Trade Center number seven. And, um, and it's funny, I gotta read you guys this. You know, he goes, I, I had a chuckle when I read this because I love it. I love, you, you know, one of the best things that you can get from um, an optimistic person and an entrepreneur is, um, 
what Larry, what Larry's, what I'm quoting of Larry right here. He said, he Silverstein thought the entire site would be rebuilt by 2020, by last year. But that changed after the planned anchor tenant for number two, World Trade Center, they pulled out. They, they pulled out of the lease agreement, okay? We're still not finished, he says. He's, but since I'm only 90, no rush. I have plenty of time. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the spirit and that's the heart of a true business entrepreneur is optimism. And I love that. At the young age of 90, no sweat, no problem. I'll finish this project. I got plenty of time. Ladies and gentlemen, all you that were affected by 9-11 and the, uh, in the ruin of uh, Site 1, many blessings to you guys. God bless you and all your families. And my contribute, my heart space out to all of you guys. It's a great place to live. In spite of all our problems, differences, and all the, in everything that happens in our country, God bless America. God bless you guys. Go out and compound your success.